It is part two, day two. Technically, it's still the same day for me, but it's day two for you guys. Okay, how did day two go? It was equally as fun, even though by the time day one started to come to an end, I was incredibly tired. And yeah, so the Sunday was, I just needed to collapse when I got back. And also, I had got two more tickets that were supposed to be free. And guess what, guys? No, nah, they did not work. The codes did not work. So all in all, four tickets that were supposed to be commemorary, and for me to not pay anything, I had to pay. So can you imagine twice with two different friends to kind of let them down and then go back to them and say, it was so sorry guys, but you have to pay. It's not right, is it? It just seems to be me. I have this black, like, thundercloud thing that just kind of zips out all the time. Anyway, day two, part two. Day two of the Stitch Festival. And hopefully I will get to see somebody today. Okay, so this is the ground floor, which I did not do anything yesterday. I'm going to do that hopefully now. There you go. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. You, no, you can come in on with you. That's fine. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> 
I got... Mike, are we all in focus? It's recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you can edit. Yeah. You, can have, you can have a flip inside. Can I get my talk you know, you know that I like the mint. <laughs> I know, do you know what? Like, I like the mint. When I saw your video after I did that, I was like, I'm not going to see the bleed me. And I put it in mint. And I just could not resist. I can't wait to open it. <laughs> so I'm going to be really cruel. And evidence, strict instructions. You're not allowed to open that until she does her vlog. I'll do it on my Stitch Festival vlog. <laughs> and then you've got a little, little something of, you know, what's brewing in the pipeline. Yeah, anything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Righto guys, righto guys, who I bumped into, Amelia, and I think everybody is very familiar with Amelia, and you have a channel, what's your channel now? So Amelia, yes. have you um, purchased one? I've purchased one paper and then we're going to do another loop and see what expires. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you here all day? Uh, no, just for a couple of hours and then I've got to go home to do tea time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, my okay, see you.
what pettises did I get? So the first two fabrics are here. They are both a denim and I got one and a half yards of both and I'm just thinking of regular pants. This is a soft denim, has a little bit of stretch, not too much. This first one is in obviously an orangey colour. It's coming up a little bit more orange than in real life. If they still can come in close enough, you can see a little bit of kind of white mixed in there. And that is the same with the green. The green might pick it up, there you go, a little bit more. That is coming up much more true to colour. And yeah, they are from the Hicks in Hicks stand. And again, like I said, they were really soft, kind of malleable denim. And I am thinking perhaps cropped pair of the Landers or maybe a cropped pair of the Jessers by Tilly and the Buttons. These two next fabrics are from M. Rosenberg and Son, aka Stitch Fabrics UK. And this is a cotton fabric from Italy. Italiano, it is because it said so down there. Lightweight cotton, and again, I know, I know, I'm so boring, I know, kind of a little semi floaty shirt. Do not know if it will be buttoned front or not, possibly a tie, maybe even the Gilbert top. I was thinking that with the other idea for a shirt or maybe just something relaxed kind of like a little tunic style shirt. They picked me up this, no surprise, and it is what they had left and we have these beautiful parrots on and mixed in with the parrots, I hope he doesn't eat the parrot, we have a little crocodile but again this is very drapey fabric it's really colourful and I'm thinking of a little dress because although we're not anywhere close to summer it is hot and you guys know that I always feel the heat anyway it could be in the most freezingest iciest coldness of places on the planet I'll still probably be scotchy I The next doll that I went to was Sewing Sanctuary. Picked up fabrics. First up, I will show you the little fat quarters. And I could not resist because look, anybody that is a fan of Bitchick's Putter, like me, I think would adore these little fat quarters. So I picked up three and there we go they are just so adorable so I gotta have me a little Beatrix putter then adding to the animal theme meh, 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 meh. I got me some quacklings picked up a yard of this cut and fabric they are slightly different animals in this jersey and we have the elephants, giraffes, tigers, rhino, that is an Indian rhino there because it kind of has like armoured plating. Then another 100% cotton, you may think this one's perfect and this cool little kit design there with these little little flower there's a little fish there well kind of the little skeletal of the fish as if the kits have eaten it now these are just so adorable and I've been kind of looking around to make little bunny rabbits for a whole bunch of time because I have seen the 
Luna Lapins, and they are absolutely adorable. And these are not too dissimilar. I call William and Oliver Rabbits from the same company. And look, look how adorable they are. So I had to get me some bunnies. And of course, they have to be closed. So I have a little overalls pad in here. I think, yeah, they call them dungarees. See them on the back there. They are just so cute and adorable. So yeah, they are what I purchased from Sewing Sanctuary. And the lady was absolutely wonderful. And she has created the bunnies and all their clothes. So hopefully I won't be sent hopping mad. Now this last fabric I believe possibly was from a style called Lily Fabrics, not entirely sure. I did not get a receipt and I paid cash and unless I look through the footage but I do not think I actually filmed their store. Anyway, got this beautiful happy sunshine yellow fabric with this kind of semi bold floral design on has some wonderful drape to it and I picked me up two half yards, I think it was two yards and yeah this was the last fabric that I purchased and yeah again probably maybe a kimono style I was thinking dress something long easy to just kind of throw on and yeah something ready for the summer However, saying that, I'm also kind of a little bit envisioning maybe some really extra wide leg palazzo style pants. Yeah, I think that would work. And my very final purchase, again, like I said, I kind of stocked this style a little bit. I went back so many times, both the Saturday and the Sunday. So, thimble wood. And I got this cute little guy, Sally, the sausage dog. Oh, it's just so adorable. And like you saw previously, again, they're just absolutely wonderful. And I'm really happy to have those in my collection. And yeah, you guys will see the journey when I create those. And I'm really excited and looking forward to making those up. So that is it for part two. I am just going to, or TE, TE does all the editing. I sit with him and say yes, no, up, down, left, right and all the rest of it. But yes, I'm going to insert stills of my shoes. So I wore these just on the Sunday, oh my goodness. I have worn them before just kind of for photos and just briefly going out but they had not been broken into properly and therefore my feet were absolutely ripped to pieces. Oh my goodness I could hardly stand anymore plus my body had just given out. It was like no nah, I am done with you woman. Get me to sit down. Yeah sit down so the car journey obviously returning I managed to sit but even then sometimes it's incredibly uncomfortable so yeah needed the couch and bed and kind of a lot of recovering since but yes the shoes it was like forget the human that was inside of them I'd never had so many people stop me for a pair of shoes like why already I think it's just a just a little bit sort of noticeable I guess <laughs> People just keep stopping me, so yeah, I will just leave it to the shoes. If the shoes could talk, so just on their behalf, they were on my feet. Lots of people kept saying, oh, I really love your shoes. Oh, where did you get them from? There was also a lot of people that actually did know, and they came from irregular choice, but yes.
I do not know whether to thank them or just hide them away in the closet because they, <laughs> they still need a little bit of breaking intro but also yeah they, they I don't know, it's funny isn't it what people notice but then, yes I, I, I am a little bit the same if somebody wears something whether it's a piece of jewellery or clothing or a little headpiece or something if it's something that we get attracted to and if I'm brave I kind of just say oh I like whatever it is where did you purchase it from as you guys can see from the footage I was wearing my cockatoo dress and yeah so M Rosenberg Stitch Fabric store they took a photo of me I have not as yet seen that photograph if before this goes out I have it TE will insert it because they wanted a photograph of me in the dress in their fabric and it was the very last panel again you've seen that in my makes video so I've talked about that so I'm not going to say too much about that now and yeah beautiful fabric great that I got the last panel and it was Italian silk from Italy I have actually been to Italy I've been to quite a few places a whole bunch of time ago now and yes just so many memories and I would love to go back so yeah it kind of reminds me of Italy a little bit so where possible everything will be linked for you below guys I hope you enjoyed this little kind of look at the stitch festival in London and yeah if you guys went let me know what did you get up to or was it your first time have you been a few times before and are you going to any of the other shows Righto, so thank you so much as always for coming by and the time that you take to comment. If you like the, my video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. It does help the channel because the more you do that, the more kind of YouTube recognises it and sends it off into wherever, the ether I guess, so other people could get to know that my channel exists. Okay everybody, stay safe and thank you. bunnies and all their clothes so hopefully yeah this last fabric I